Hello everyone, Mr. Knorr here. Today we're gonna to be building the push robot. You can find this by clicking on the light bulb uh, under classroom projects, and then scrolling down uh, until you get to number 10, push. Now, if you swipe over, this is what it's gonna look like, and it kind of shows you what the gears do. If we swipe over, you do have building instructions. This is what I'm gonna be following for this first part of our build. So this is what we're gonna be building, and I'm just gonna go step by step uh, just to walk you through what to do. So first we're gonna take our uh, interesting uh, four by four plate with the hole in the center, and then we're gonna put these sloped pieces going around on the side with um, our Technic brick with the axle slot. And then we're gonna take our uh, trans blue um, pieces, this ball and socket piece. And then we're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side with our slope pieces. I should note that I'm gonna go pretty fast, so if you need to pause, uh, rewatch, that's fine. But um, the building instructions are pretty self-explanatory, and I just do this just to make sure that uh, you guys know what you're doing. The brick that we're gonna lay across is gonna leave the ball and sockets on either side. So we're not gonna go across the trans blue, we're gonna go this way so that when we put our pieces, it matches these slopes. Make sure that you guys um, get this pushed down uh, nice and tight. If it's not going in for whatever reason, just kind of look around and see you know, what pieces need to come down. Everything should snap into place. Okay, we're gonna take our longer axles. These are the one, one by 12 axles. They're gonna be flush on this side. Doesn't matter which one. Um, sticking out going this way, all right. Now, step number six has us building a little submodel. So we're going to take our two by four plate, our one by four Technic brick, and then these trans green uh, one by one circular pieces like this. And then this just goes right underneath, just like this. So this comes right up here, and then you got that trans green piece underneath so that it goes across just like that. All right, we're gonna take one more of these now. This trans blue piece should be sticking out slightly out like this. So don't put it flush, put it so that it has these two studs that are sticking off. Uh, we're gonna need, we're gonna put a piece on that later. All right, we're gonna take a two by four Technic plate and we're gonna put that on again. Notice how we have those two studs of the blue sticking out. You don't wanna have to go back and do this part later. So make sure that you get that done now and then these um, tile pieces go right here step number nine okay now we're going to take that one by two plate and we're going to stick it on the end here and then we're going to take a one by four next to the blue tiles here step 10 uh, we're going to take these one by two modified that have this frictionless pin sticking out and it's going to go on either side now we're going to do this twice with that, that tile that's on it. So it goes here, goes on the end. All right, so we've got two of these. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn and they're gonna come up here. So you find the two blue um, sockets up here. And then these are gonna push in. You might need to wiggle them around a little bit. Sometimes this can be a little tough. Sometimes you get one partially in the other end and then click them both together. However you wanna do it, they'll, they'll go in. Uh, you just might need to work it a little bit, but it's gonna provide the smooth surface um, that the attachment that pushes in and out is gonna slide across. So it's important that these are in all the way. All right, now we're gonna take uh, two of these blues and this black, and these blues are going right up to the end like this. Let's do those first. And then this black piece is gonna sit on these two studs here. So see how that these two black studs come beyond the blue. All right. Now this is kind of our drive shaft. What we're doing, this is gonna be kind of an interesting way to make a drive shaft rather than using just a straight axle. We use these axle to pin going into this um, connector piece. And what this is gonna do is when we finally hit tension, it kind of has some free slide in there so that um, when it reaches all the way out or all the way in, if the motor's still running, this will just slide freely rather than grinding the gears. 
kind of an interesting way of, of doing it. And just because um, sometimes it's hard to get precision in our uh, little motor there. All right, we're gonna take a one by four Technic piece. It goes through the middle, and then you take this black bevel gear, the smaller of the two, and that goes in on this side. Then on the other side, we go the larger black bevel gear goes in, and then this part goes right into the motor just like this. So see how this is gonna kind of swivel around a little bit, just like that. And then we're gonna rest this so that this should go right onto the end of the blue here. And when you push down, the motor should come all the way to this white plate here and the front of the motor on this white plate here. Push all the way down, make sure everything is nice and aligned. You don't want anything like sticking up. And there you go. Now we've got the first part. All right, we're gonna take two of our cylinders, trans red cylinders here, like that. And now we're gonna take our length six. Remember, you can always kind of like line these up and count the number of studs to make sure that it's the right length. But our length six um, axle, and now we're gonna use these eight teeth gears. So not the bevel ones, not the black ones. These are the dark gray ones. We're gonna put uh, one on one end. We're gonna take a one by two Technic piece and put it all the way through, just like that. Then we're gonna take uh, this other gear, this tan one, that will uh, mesh at a 90 degree angle. So this goes with our bevel gears like this. All right, then we're gonna take one of our bushings. We're gonna put that spacer in. We're also gonna take one of our yellow uh, one-third bushings and we're gonna push that in like this. Then we're gonna take another one by two Technic piece here. And then on the other side, we're taking another one of those dark uh, bluish gray eight tooth gears. Um, just make sure if you need to, you can always uh, push down on the, like on a flat surface, just to make sure that the axle is going all the way through and it's not sticking out one side or anything. All right, once you have this, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna set it right down like here and the gears of the tan should mesh with the gears of this black bevel. So once you push down, you'll notice that these gears are meshing. If you turn this right here, you'll notice, look at that, this is turning right here. Okay, so we basically um, have our motor going this way and we need it to change uh, to a perpendicular axle going here. So we made that 90 degree turn using these bevel gears. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna take these uh, one by four plates. These are just gonna go here to make sure that this uh, 90 degree gear system stays put. All right, and now we're gonna build the attachment that goes in and out. So we're gonna start with a two by six Technic piece. We're gonna take these long plates, these one by 12 plates that go across and one of these green uh, two by two circular plates like this. We are going to sandwich it. So this one just goes right on top, just like that. Then we're gonna take our teeth like this and you're gonna put two on each side. So put two on each side. And now before you put these green pieces on, we have to get this inside and then those green pieces will act as a barrier so that it won't pop all the way off. So you just set it down here and then push forward and it goes in. See how it goes in and out? So again, you just take it, line it up, and then just push a little bit. All right, these will, these will spin, but the motor's kind of holding it in place, so you gotta push a little bit. Then once it's all the way in, then we can add these green um, slope pieces so that when the motor pushes all the way out, it hits here and then stops and can't go any further. And this is where, see how I'm, if I'm turning it, and it hits here and it can't go anymore, the friction of this will just cause this gear right here to start spinning uh, rather than grinding any gears. So it was an interesting gear system. And here's the We Do Push Robot. Just plug it in. And then you have on the next uh, page over here, 
it says good job yay so it has a program right here now this program that it gives you right away uh, is kind of interesting I think uh, what it's designed to do besides push in and out is also to make sure that you kind of set up your system because you don't always know exactly where this is um, and to make sure that we get it where it's completely set up we want to we want to push it in and out once just to align it because if it's in the middle and you start a program uh, maybe it doesn't go all the way it's not your timing's going to be a little off so we want to set it up like this all right um, so turn your hub on what I always need to do is go back home. Now your program is gonna save, but I click on the house and then look down here under my projects and that's where you're gonna find it. So it's gonna be the most recent one because it didn't give us, I couldn't see the top up here to connect it. So again, turn your brick on, hit the Bluetooth, connect it, and then let's go ahead and run and let's see what happens here. I hit run on my program and it's going in and out and it's just, uh, gonna loop forever it's just gonna keep going and going and going because this is a loop and we never tell the loop when to end all right I hope you were able to build the push robot and in part two we're gonna add some attachments here to turn it into um, a way to show how on the moon we might make a nuclear reactor and use this device to control the control rods of our nu nuclear fission reactor. All right, hope you were successful.